Scorpio cross watchers welcome to your reading welcome back for those of you returning to Shacey Terran for those of you brand new welcome to our channel this is your bonus reading I'm anxious to get started let's go ahead and see what's going on for those of you that are brand new don't forget to subscribe it actually gets you in on the free healing stone bracelet giveaway which I hand make it is my therapy for myself I absolutely love making them for everybody and it's absolutely free okay it's absolutely free to enter also I need you to do is subscribe hit that like button hit the notification bell so that if you're one of the lucky winners you will be notified because we will put out uh, my daughters and I the lucky winners we will do a video each month announcing the winners we will announce it uh, at the end of each month or you know soon within the week of the following next month okay and again, there's no catch. We just want to thank you so much for taking the effort and the time to subscribe and like and share. It really helps the channel to grow and it helps me to get to know each one of you. Thank you for all of my returning clients. I appreciate you all so very much. Let's get started for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And for those of you that are unaware that are brand new, I'm a Scorpio Sun, Cancer, Moon, Libra, Rising, a Sagittarius, Venus. So welcome. Definitely couldn't do this without cross watchers e either. Like, I cross watch. I also, don't forget to check your moon rising Venus signs. I have playlists if you click on Shea C. Tarot. So sometimes if your sun sign here doesn't, you know, resonate for you, don't forget it can in the future as well. Okay, just FYI, that's how tarot works. Just because you're not feeling this now doesn't mean you won't feel it say in a few months from now, you know, divine timing always. You're always gonna be in a different path at different times. I'm reading for thousands of people, okay? So yeah, check your playlist. Sometimes my moon my moon is in cancer and sometimes that resonates for me just as much as my sun sign. So you can get messages from each one. So yeah, definitely check it out. Um, Scorpio, you may be at a crossroads. You're trying to like decide what you wanna do, but you feel like you don't have all the answers. There's things that you don't know right now that you're in the dark about. So you feel like it's very hard for you to make a decision right now based upon the fact that there's not enough knowledge. And that's how us Scorpios work, isn't it? It's, it's like if we don't feel like we have everything in front of us, it's kind of like, you know, looking at evidence. It's like, I can't convict somebody if I feel like I'm missing a piece of evidence. It's, it's like you, you just, you don't have all the answers. So you don't feel good about making a decision. And so right now you're just kind of like at a crossroads trying to, trying to figure things out here. And if it's not you, it's somebody you're dealing with. I could be picking up your energy, somebody close to you, a family member, a friend, a love interest, a crush. Um, this could be somebody in your future. Okay. Lover's card. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? This is a choice or a decision that you have to make here in love, but you're not sure which direction to go because you feel like you don't have all the answers to make this decision. So I feel like you're in the dark about a few things. Scorpio, <laughs> this, doesn't, this doesn't surprise me. It's like, should I go left or should I go right? Should I go right or should I go left? Well, I don't, I don't know everything. I got my blindfold on. There's things I don't know. Maybe I should wait to make this decision. So you're really not making a decision or a choice right now but I feel like the universe is going to try and help you make that choice this is a spiritual union trying to come into play here uh, you know when the lovers card comes out that's major arcana major arcana is a major choice or decision in love so this is a big decision for you okay and so I feel like obviously it's not something that you want to take lightly Wow Okay, you're looking for the truth or seeking clarity or else clarity is coming for you. These just all wanted to drop out here, so I'm taking them because of the way they fell. This means that you will become very clear. This is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling there's going to be a breakthrough here, some kind of communication that is going to allow you to become clear. Um, and there is a brand new passionate beginning here for you. The Ace of Wands is very intimate energy here. I feel like... It's, it's about determination. It's about clarity coming. It's having this epiphany, this renewed passion, if you like. After uh, you become very clear, I feel you're going to become very excited about your future. You will know which direction to go. Well, isn't that about time, Scorpio? Yes. So perhaps some kind of a... Um, decision or choice is either something you finally decide to make 
or you receive some kind of news, some kind of truth or a breakthrough that allows you to become clear and get excited about your future. We're going to uh, go ahead with your person's energy, but remember it can go vice versa, intermix, be all of your energy or all of their energies. Could be somebody in your future. How does a Scorpio's person feel about Scorpio? What are their intentions towards Scorpio? What is it that Scorpio needs to know that their person is not telling them, please, spirits? What do they need to know for September 2020? What are the messages? What are the messages that Scorpio needs to hear from their person? How do they feel about Scorpio? What are their intentions towards Scorpio? What do they need to know? What is this truth or clarity that is coming towards Scorpio or this decision or choice? What is going on? What is going on, please? Thank you, Spirit. For Scorpio, what are the messages? For those of you that are brand new, uh, I usually not usually, I always continue reading over on Vimeo. It's uh, usually uh, over 20 minutes, sometimes over 30 minutes, but I'm going to try not to make them as long. I know lots of you enjoy it that long, but uh, I could definitely get more uh, readings done for you more often if I make them shorter. But FYI, this time I'm going to make a Scorpios, because I'm a Scorpio, like I said, as guinea pigs. I want us to uh, get the extended directly off my website instead and we're going to see how that works out for you okay so for those of you returning that always get my extended i appreciate you taking the effort to go instead to the link that will direct you to my website and to the link for the extended okay let's go ahead wow seven of pentacles so i feel like your your person whoever is on your mind scorpio is waiting i feel like they're waiting for something financially to change for them but they're also standing back and they're looking at the progress or the effort that they've put in perhaps even to this relationship with you. Um, again, this can definitely play out from cross watchers perspective, vice versa. Okay. This is like, I've put in a lot of effort. I've put in a lot of time. It's like, am I getting anywhere? Okay. Uh, and definitely Scorpio, this could be, you know, you as well. Clarify the seven of pentacles. What is, what is this weight about? Seven of pentacles. What is this weight about? Seven of Pentacles. Why is it here, please? What is the significance? Wow. Okay, that just wanted to fly out. Wow, Queen of Cups. Okay, they're waiting for you, Scorpio. Hello. So I've got Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This is I'm waiting for Scorpio. I'm waiting to find out what's going on. Okay, but this could be also you waiting for buddy. You standing waiting for your person. It could be both. Okay, it could be financial. It could be emotional. Clarify the Queen of Cups here. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Clarify the Queen of Cups, please. Why is it here for Scorpio? Wow. You may be waiting for communication, forward movement, rapid changes, or this means that this news, this clarity, this breakthrough is going to be communicated to you, and it's something you've been waiting for, and it's something that you're going to get excited about. Okay, this is what I'm kind of feeling, but we're going to need to dig. I love to dig, and we all know that I love to dig. Wow, okay, that's too many cards. I tell you what, they've been hopping tonight. I did personal readings all night, and I have to say that I'm a little bit tired, but um, they are hopping out tonight. So if that happens, don't be surprised. It's because the energy's pretty hot tonight, Scorpio. All right, let's check it out. Okay, I saw this twice. I saw this in pre-shuffle here. Three of Swords. So, you know... <sighs> This is heartbreak. This is something that you may be waiting for communication, okay? And it can be that some kind of news comes in that causes you heartbreak, Scorpio. Hopefully not, okay? But it can also mean that it's the end of heartbreak that a choice or decision that had to be made there's a breakthrough that you've been waiting for okay but this can be you know um a breakup it can be that some kind of news comes in causes you some kind of we're gonna have to keep going i don't want to keep just kind of guessing here we need to dig Scorpio judgment yeah so somebody has made a final decision or judgment call here or gone through 
even more so a spiritual awakening here because we've got the lover's card we've got the ace of swords we've got the three of swords and judgment someone's being judged for possibly a third party situation here something or somebody was involved that ultimately had to um render a decision in love here okay and it's going to cause heartbreak to somebody i feel like this is news you've been waiting for because we have the seven of pentacles and our energy which is the queen of cups and eight of wands can indicate as, as well as the ace of wands this is very passionate communication now when i say passionate communication this could be in a heartbreaking way, like it hits your heart hard because it's 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 very passion driven. Like this mental breakthrough is like this is the truth and it hurts your heart. This communication is spoken very passionately. It could be. Okay, judgment, like somebody's had this awakening or this is you having this epiphany and it causes you heartbreak that somebody or something you've been waiting for, you receive this truth, you've been at a crossroads and you finally receive this communication. And um, But judgment can also, this can go either way. Or this is communication coming in towards you that a decision has been made to come in towards you with a new beginning that's going to be the beginning of something very passionate between you and your person that you've been waiting for. It's a second chance um, for anything that happened in the past. It's it's like you could be um, coming together with someone from your past or just somebody that you know you're spiritually connected to on a very spiritual um, soul level here. This is uh, going to change everything for you. Something that's happening here. We need to dig so much further. Let's get the mutual energies with the Shacy Prism. Okay. This is our exclusive deck for those of you that are wondering. What are the mutual energies, please, between Scorpio and their person? This is not crystal clear right now. I've got to dig. What is the mutual energy here, please, between Scorpio and whoever is on their mind now or in their future? What are the messages that Scorpio needs to know for their highest good? What do they need to know, please, spirits? What are the messages for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How is their person feeling about them? What are the mutual energies? What do they need to know for their highest good now or in the near future? What are the messages for Scorpio and their person, please? What do they need to know for their highest good? What are the messages? How are they mutually marrying one another? Wow. All right. So planning, looking ahead and focused on the future here. So there's a new beginning here that's going to lead you to a new future. Whether or not it's with this person that you're going to reconcile with, someone from your past or just somebody you're just very connected to on a spiritual soul mate level here um, there is a decision or a choice to be made it's a very passionate decision I feel like there's going to be a breakthrough here somebody's had an epiphany about which direction to go they're planning for the future here this could be you Scorpio with your person this could be them communicating to you that they've decided to reconcile with someone else and this causes you heartbreak wow we got to keep going here mutual energies either way this is going to allow you and them to have a breakthrough and to plan your future so whether or not it's with your person or on your own let's keep going what are the mutual energies action willpower journey so this is both of your rightful path this definitely could be a spiritual union coming to play here okay but there is heartbreak there's heartbreak here so i need to well we need to dig scorpio we do okay let's go where's this new beginning going with the ace of wands like i said i'll dig a lot deeper in the extended high priestess okay so this could be something that you have absolutely no idea about this is the keeper of secrets another major arcana there's a major choice or a decision here with the lover's card high priestess judgment card over here this is something huge so it's like a mental breakthrough is coming through and I feel like there's a new beginning that you may be totally blinded to or in the dark about here, Scorpio. You're to trust your intuition. What is your gut telling you? 
Okay, there's a final decision or choice or awakening here, either on your side or your person's side, whoever's on your mind. It's going to bring you this clarity, something you've been waiting for. We need to find out like if this is on your person's side or your side. They could be kind of like keeping this to themselves right now. Okay, and it may just be because, again, they're not ready yet or they know you're not ready yet. Uh, the, again, it's about right timing here. Lover's card and the judgment card. That is all like having that spiritual wake-up call from the universe. The universe touching you, your person on the shoulder and saying, Hey, you know, this decision needs to be made here. There's all this waiting. There's this heartbreak. You need to come to some kind of a conclusion here. Um, I feel like with the two of swords and the high priestess, you know, you are in the dark about a lot of things and unable to kind of make an informed decision that you're comfortable with at this time. Okay. We need to find out where you're headed towards with this new beginning. Is it with your person or without your person? What is becoming clear? One more mutual energy, please, between Scorpio and whomever is on their mind. One more mutual energy, please. What are the messages? Wow, holiday, vacation, take a break. The universe is saying that you definitely, um, you and your person or just you, Scorpio, again, depending on how this resonates for you, you're all going to be different, needs a serious break here. This is, this is heavy duty energy, okay? Something massive is happening here and it's in the near future. But it is your rightful path. It's going to take some planning. It's going to cause some heartbreak. It is something that you have been waiting to get a message or clarity on here um, because you've been stagnant for quite some time here. So let's head over into the continuation, which, by the way, like I said, I'm going to do it on my website. You will receive the link there once you purchase the extended if you wish to do so. Um, I need to check that out and see if it's uh, easier that way, okay? So Scorpio, I appreciate you all so very much, Cross Watchers. I really do. I absolutely adore reading for all of you. It's my passion, my pleasure, as well as making the Healing Stone bracelets. For those of you that are brand new, here's a sneak peek. But this is the Buddha. The ones that, because um, this is sterling silver, the ones that I'm giving away are the stainless steel for the most part. This is the I Am Enough. That's one of the real popular ones. I don't know if you can see that, but I choose all the healing stones. So check that out if you wish to do so. Again, it's free. We give away three each month. If you don't win this month, I put your name in for the following month. And my girls and I uh, draw that um, and I make them. Okay, I make them to order six inch to seven and three quarters. So you even get your right size. How cool is that? Thank you so much for being here. I hope this resonates for you. This looks really positive though, Scorpio. I do want to say that because there's a new beginning here. Either way, you're going to, you know, the truth shall, shall set you free as they say. So let's find out what that truth is, what that clarity is coming. So if this is where you leave me, I will see you next time. And for those of you that are going to meet me over for the extended, I will be right there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and the notification bell to help the channel grow. We truly appreciate appreciate it very much. I wish you all nothing but beautiful blessings, prosperity, happiness, health, and safety, and lots of love. Namaste.